And away, getting away well was Raymond Chan on the outside, but also going well is Tom Vernon on the inside lane as they start to bunch up. Running also strongly is Chris Downey. As they straighten up, it's going to be a battle between Bryce and Vernon as they try to take the second in the lead. And it looks like Bryce has now moved to the front with Crane well placed at the moment in behind them. Also Downey in that little group and the, uh, of course Tom Vernon of Essendon who got away very well. There's about 1.50 to go in this first lap, just passing the water jump. Coming towards the home turn, it's Bryce Glen Utley leading on the outside there. Looks like Downey is running very, very well. So it's Bryce, Downey, Cameron Clayton tucked in behind them as well as Tom Vernon. So, and Jordan Crane is in there running very, very comfortably. We have the St Kevin's runner, Steve Fabris is also well placed at this stage. So nothing between them as they go towards the back straight. Downey still trying to challenge the leader, Bryce, as they go down with uh, uh, Vernon, well placed. Uh, Cameron Clayton now has uh, made his presence felt, moving in that top group. We've got Fabris running well from Glen Huntley. Also McFarlane is right there. The box hill runner starting to move with the, the, his baggage. So Cameron Clayton now has made the big move with 150 out, is really going strongly. So it's Clayton. Clayton is really pushing hard as they come into the home turn. They come down towards the straight. It is Clayton trying to hang on very strongly as he's being seriously challenged here by Jordan Crane. But it looks like going across the Glen Huntley runner is going to prevail over Cameron Clayton coming through on the inside strongly. It was Baggett there.